Hello everyone, welcome to another Brain Scratch Searchlight. In case you didn't watch Johnny Vlogs this week, I am actually traveling, so this has been filmed a while ago. You might notice my red bloody eye is back. Hopefully that's all healed up by now, but don't worry about it. Um, and outside of that, I wanted to be sure to do episodes for you guys as I was traveling this week, so um, this is one that might be a little short, but it's just as important as any Searchlight case that we cover. And it starts with a tweet. Um, I received a tweet on March 13th from Lynn, uh, and she includes this account, John Murphy, 1967. It's worth a shot to help find your dad at Lord and & Arts. And from there, uh, John Murphy replies, thanks would be appreciated, and he includes a link to the Facebook group. I will include that, of course, in the description box below for all of you to review. And if we take a look at the John Murphy account, we can see that the banner has been replaced with a picture of John Murphy. 52 of Denonstown, Glasgow has been missing since May 12th, 2015. So this is the account of John Murphy. Um, I believe it's actually his son's account, John, who also has the same name. Here's a picture of him uh, in the center of these gentlemen right here. And he's looking for his dad. It's uh, a bit of a tragic case and I just want to cover it with you guys. I know that I have some viewers uh, in Scotland, so please share this with your friends if they haven't heard of it already. Uh, and there's also some reason to believe that he might even be in London. So uh, you know what? Shout out to the UK. If you're in the UK, please help find this guy, John Murphy, and return him to his family. I believe he has five kids and his son, John, really wants to find him. So um, just to get started, I went through the Twitter chain and found this one message. This is back from December 2015. This is some information on the situation regarding my dad's disappearance. Please RT this, everyone. Thank you. My dad left home for work on Tuesday the 12th of May. This was his first day due back, having been off work sick. He left the house with his sick line, angina spray, and money for work. However, he never showed up at work. We found this out when my dad hadn't returned home around about his normal time. My mom phoned his work to be told he hadn't been in, so we reported him missing to police. Since then, massive searches have been carried out by ourselves along with the public, police, and canine search and recovery. We have found no trace of my dad at all through these searches, which makes us believe he is out there somewhere alive. Due to several issues with CCTV on buses and in public space, we will never know if my dad got a bus the morning or what direction he left Duke Street from, which is devastating as we are stuck for which areas to search next. We have had TV, radio, and newspaper appeals, tens of thousands of posters printed off and posted all over the UK. We continue to search and try to think what may have triggered my dad's disappearance with the hope we have answers soon. So uh, this is an article, and there have been definitely many web articles on this case with a surprising trend we're going to talk about in a little bit. But before we get to that, this one had some good information on kind of his vital statistics. Um, we've got a good picture of him here. The family of a missing Glasgow man have appealed for help to trace him six months after his disappearance. John Murphy, 52, failed to arrive at work after leaving his home in the Denistown area at 7 o'clock on the 12th of May. At a police news conference, his son, also called John, said, Our family is not the same without him, and we just want to have him come home. Mr. Murphy is about 5 foot 8 inches tall, medium build, with short brown hair, which is turning gray. He's usually clean shaven, and on the day he went missing, he was believed to have been wearing a cream polo shirt, black cargo trousers, black work boots, and a black fleece jacket. And here we have the last CCT Im image of John Murphy. After leaving his home in Craig Park Drive, Mr. Murphy headed towards Duke Street to catch a bus to work. At the news conference also attended by Mr. Murphy's wife Patricia and sister Sharon McNabb, Mr. Murphy Jr. said, My dad is a good man, a quiet guy, likes his football, and has had his season ticket for 20 years. It's been horrible. We don't know anything short of him coming out of a shop. You think it'll never happen to you. Uh, he also mentions that the support has been unbelievable. Um, and this is the trend that I wanted to tell all of you about. If you do a quick Google News search on John Murphy missing, you will see that missing man John Murphy spotted twice in one day. And that was November 29th. Um, 
Missing John Murphy spotted the day before. That's from October 12th. Missing Glasgow man John Murphy spotted. That's from January 11th, 2016. So that's literally this year. Um, missing John Murphy spotted in Glasgow Park, July 28th. I have never seen a case so far where a missing person has been spotted so frequently. And I do know that there is times where someone thinks that they've seen someone and they might be incorrect. Um, however, this trend of how often he is spotted is a lot higher than I've ever seen before. Um, I hope and pray that that means that he really is alive out there. And maybe he might be going through something emotionally. Maybe he decided that he needs to reboot his life in some way and, and try to get away from things. I'm not sure, but um, to John Jr., I think I, I want to agree with you and what I'm seeing in the press. It seems to be that he is still alive. He is still out there somewhere. Some of these instances say that it looks like he might be living as if he's homeless, that he looks like he's been, quote, sleeping rough, um, which once again might lead towards that theory of him trying to um, run away from his life potentially. Of course, a frequent uh, theory that comes up when you're looking at cases like this is if he's suffering some type of medical issue or amnesia or has forgotten his identity for some reason. Uh, I'm not sure, but it certainly is a lot of occurrences of him being spotted. And here's a picture of his son, John. Since Mr. Murphy's disappearance more than six months ago, people have reported possible sightings of him on buses in Bridgeton, in Bothwell, and in Glasgow City Centre, among others. This is from the eveningtimes.co.uk. And here they have uh, an address just for information. Uh, John Murphy missing person at scotland.pnn.police.uk. Uh, it's a bit of a long email address. I will have it also in the description box below. So if you are someone that has some information on John Murphy, please, please, please share that. Use that contact information. Shoot an email to them and let them know what you know. And this is another article from eveningtimes.co.uk. This is almost the most recent one I can find, the 10th of January, 2016. And it is basically saying that they're widening their search across the UK. Once again, we see his son, John, here. Um, and they're doing that because there was a potential sighting of his dad in Portsmouth. Uh, CCTV is going to be hopefully collected and checked. The sighting is from a bar called The Sovereign. Uh, kind of felt significant because the girl who spoke to the man told how he showed her a picture of his kids. And he also mentioned he missed his family, but he had to be away. Uh, the man is also believed to have spoken with a Scottish accent. John's family are now working with CID detectives to establish whether it's a genuine sighting. Uh, John, 25, previously said he no longer believes his father is in the Glasgow area and plans to extend the search. This case is one of the biggest searches undertaken by Police Scotland, with more than 100 potential sightings of John investigated. So that is why the search is widened and that's why we're here shooting this. So please, uh, if you have friends in the UK, send them a link to this video. Um, send them the information that is in the description box below. I'm also going to include the Twitter account for his son, John Murphy Jr. Uh, go to the account. Please help retweet those messages. Um, it's just one little piece of information that could be so critical in helping to find John and return him to his family, and you could be a part of that. Um, so please uh, do what you can to help bring this man home. Thank you so much for joining me on this edition of Brain Scratch Searchlight. I really appreciate each and every one of you out here that views this, and I especially appreciate it if you help share it. And hopefully one of these days, we're going to start our own ticker of cases that we helped solve. Take care everyone and I'll see you on the next show on the Geek and Dorks channel.